Identifying elements from symbols. Let's take a look at this example problem. It says, what are the shorthand forms for the following elements? So here, shorthand form actually stands for what we would call the chemical symbol of the elements. So each element has a one letter or two letter symbol that represents that element. We use it in writing chemical formulas and it also is an easy shorthand way to write uh, and talk about elements. So let's take a look at the 11 elements we have here and find their shorthand or chemical symbols. Now to find the chemical symbols what you're going to need is a periodic table so you can make sure and confirm that the element that you're talking about actually has that one or two letter symbol. So boron, let's check out boron. Boron actually its chemical symbol is B and we would look at the periodic table and it has five. It has atomic number five is uh, boron and it says its chemical symbol is B. Magnesium is Mg so it's one of the ones that has two letters describing it because there are other elements that also have kind of magnesium type names. So it's not exactly magnesium, but they need to distinguish it, so that's why they put two letters instead of just one. Helium, same goes for helium. Hydrogen is another one that starts with an H, so to distinguish it we put HE instead. Fluorine is F, sulfur is S, aluminum is AL, carbon is C, calcium is C. A though, and notice that every second letter is lowercase. So the first letter is uppercase and the second letter is lowercase. So don't get it confused for another element. It's just if it has one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter, then it's the same element. It's just a, that shorthand form has two letters instead of one. Potassium is a weird one. It actual its symbol is K and that comes from its Latin name and sodium, which is Na, also coming from a Latin name, and hydrogen, which is H. And those are the chemical symbols for all of those elements.